Hello, Gemini couples. I am Phoenix Rising, and if you're hearing my voice, you're watching my channel. If you are a returning Gemini couple, thanks for coming back. I graciously appreciate you. And if you are new to my channel, you can click like, subscribe, you can share me, all those good things. And um, I appreciate you coming. I'm here to do a love read for Gemini couples and couples only. So you must either be a Gemini or have a Gemini in your birth chart or your spouse must be a Gemini or either have Gemini in their birth chart for this to resonate. Um, this read will be good from the 11th, which is tomorrow, to the 20th of June. And I'm going to jump straight into it. I did a four card spread. The fourth card is your main messages. You get to ask the deck a question. I'll flip that at the end to give you your answer. And I did a soulmate spread at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to jump straight into the read and get to be his knees. You guys got the um, the Ace of Wands. This is um, frustrations with the new start with someone that makes uh, a lot of promises they can't fucking keep. This can be a Leo, uh, Aries, or a Sagittarius. They might have it in their birth chart. Um, if not, it still doesn't mean anything. It does still mean that they make promises they can't keep. Um, this is... Um, this is also like a abortion, like an unwanted pregnancy. This is money issues. This is throwing a tantrum. Your spouse could be acting like a damn child. Um, this is having um, selfish tendencies, only caring about um, themselves, and it's making like the home, like you know, making everything difficult in the home because the person is only concerned about what they got going on is not about what you got going on and this is also um what was i gonna say about this ace um oh i call it the good sex the big dick card this is like somebody that tries to control you with just sex like um the man manipulation this is um your money might be suffering from them too. And this is somebody very bored with their sex life. No sparks, predictable, nothing going on. But definitely the ace is uh, the dick card because the, the wand is the dick. And they, they're trying to, they might be trying to turn you out with it. I don't know, take the how it resonates. That's definitely for somebody. And then you got the Four of Pentacles. This is representing um, Earth signs. So this can be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Don't have to be, but can. It could be in a birth chart. This is um, gifts or somebody feeling like they that you're a possession or, or you feel like they are a possession. This is, uh, they're a good negotiator. This is very guarded, protected. Not liking to share feelings. It's either you or your mate. Not liking to be open and honest about stuff. Um, this is not feeling like like they need to be vulnerable. Not liking to be vulnerable. If they tell you your story, if they tell you their story, um, you may tell somebody or flip on them or go against them. This is keeping it all to yourself. You or your partner. This is not letting. No one in, not opening up, feeling the need to hold back. Like, um, this is also like holding on to like, uh, like acting like somebody, a car or a dial. Like, my toy's like a big ass kid. Like, mine, mine, mine. Four of Pentacles. Like a big kid. You know how a kid act like throwing attention. It's my toys. Like, they might be very possessive of you. And that ain't always a good thing. That could be bad. Take it how it resonates. You got the four cups. <clears throat> this is Pisces, Cancer, or um Pisces Cancer. Scorpio. Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy. Don't have to be. Could be in a birth chart. Take it how it resonates. This is um <clears throat> dissatisfaction. Feeling rejected or ignored. Um 
the person you're reaching out to, you know, to someone and they may not be texting or rejecting your calls. This might be you or them. Somebody rejecting calls, not answering text messages. Like, um, this is even somebody offering something and somebody not wanting to look at the arm soldier. Like, I don't want that shit. This is abandoning other person. Feeling satisfied. It's not expecting, not expecting help or trying to get, get nothing out of it. This is rejection, abandonment. This is also being in a funk. Or being, and this somebody being in their own world. You and them, like, I'm in my own damn world, la, 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 la. The person feeling like you can't bring them anything. Like, it's like uh, feeling stuck and bored, not interested in anything right now. Needing solitude, too, feeling like being depressed, not being able to speak to someone, but wants to, someone. Someone want to talk to you or you want to talk to somebody. And they acting real funny. Could have had like a little disagreement or something and they, they trying to, you know, make you feel some type of way about the situation. Then you got the star card. This is uh, definitely Aquarius energy for some of you. Not everybody. The star is definitely Aquarius energy. This is feeling like somebody is definitely out of reach with the stars. Like you, like you want to grab it, but you can't get to it. Type of energy. Like you know, it's like I want. I you can't. You want it so bad. You know, dreaming, wishing upon a star, but it's like. I can't get to this shit. I can't get to this person. They might be out of reach with their emotions. Out of touch with their own emotions. And they can't express it to you. They can't express it to their damn selves. They don't understand. This is, um... Yeah, one, you like I said, you want you want somebody, you desiring them. But feeling like they, like, un unattainable. There is hope if you're wanting a relationship. But you, it may not happen the way you want and it may not be with the person you want. It depends. This is pure luck. Odd, slim to none. Like someone feels like um, like it's the impossible. Like you can't get them. You can't reach them. This is also divine guidance. Pay attention to your dreams. Get ready. This is um, listen to your horoscopes. Hello. Get a reading. Hello. Rely on intuition. That's what the star is all about. Some of you could have an Aquarius coming in. Or it could be um, a past relationship or someone coming in that's an Aquarius. Just depends. How it resonates. Don't have to apply. You let it fly like I tell y'all all the time. For your first card, you got... Um, <clears throat> oh, shoot. For your, well, I'll do your question first. Let me do your question first. The answer to your question is... Hmm. That's your answer. Gemini couples. That's that is your answer for now. You gotta. Hmm. That's what you got. For your soulmate reading, you got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Now, this is your soulmate, but we have many, so just know that, like, you get to get. I, I believe you have three soulmates. You might have more. You might have less. But at the end of the day, you still have more than one that you'll come across in a lifetime. Some of them are for mutual growth or personal growth. You had It's like you had, um, when you first met them, you knew this was your soulmate. You feel familiar, comfortable. This might just happen to teach you something. You know, every lesson is a blessing. So, it just depends. But... It's definitely soulmate energy. But this is also, if someone don't get help with their addictions, um, things will end bad. That's the only way things are smoothed out. Someone has a problem. It could be gambling, it could be drinking, it could be shopping, it's some type of addiction. But something is definitely uh, hindering a relationship. And you, you know, you got soulmate energy because this is soulmate. So, you know, you feel like you've known this person already. Yeah. 
you got past life relationship. You've known each other before, like I said. I think that makes it always hard to be connected to somebody. It's like, it's hard to move forward when you feel like you've known somebody from uh, a past relationship. It's hard to move on. But that's the, this is your middle card. For This is for the present moment. So that's why things feel the way they feel. You know, you, you've known this person before. And for your future card, you got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. It was something I had wrote down. I had took some notes for y'all because I was like really into remembering things, trying to. And I wanted to see if I could find my notes. Because, you know, we have to take notes because we do so many readings. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. <clears throat> Okay, here you go. For passion, I was going to say. Um, okay, for this one, it, it, it's like you have the power to revive your love life, your situation. It's do things that bring you joy, like hobbies, activities, um, anything that would spark up your love life. It's like you need to um, bring, do what brings your heart joy. It will steer your love life. It will bring freedom, like being free as a bird. And it's like enjoying the moment completely. So live in the moment. Don't uh, don't overthink things to the point that you forget to live in the moment. Because, you know, sometimes as people, we forget. We tend to quickly um, move on to things and overthink things and forget to just smell the flowers, take your time, think things out. You know, overthinking kills your joy. So that's what I was going to tell you. It's like all, all about passion and creativity. Okay. And is that all I wanted to say, Gemini? I do not want to hold y'all. Sometimes I click off and I'll be like, you know what? I meant to say so and so and so and so and I hate doing it. So I'm just trying to make sure before I tell you guys goodbye that I have said everything I needed to say. If that's okay. Just work with me. I think that is though. What was I going to say about the... um? Oh, karmic lessons. That's what I was going to say. The middle card. Past past life relationships sometimes is, um, you know, some soulmates are dark and some are light. So, depending on this person, they could have been more of your dark side. And that could be why some other things are going on. Um, you know, like an ex. Like, I have a, a dark side and that's my ex. So, sometimes they surface to teach us lessons. And that's what I was going to tell you. At the present moment, this person could literally just be around to teach you a lesson. And you might, or you know, things might repair themselves. It depends on how bad things are with this person. Okay, Gemini couples. So, um, people come back for like unfinished business, you know. Like past life, past life's um, regressions. You know, if you have a question, like you unfinished business with a soulmate from the past, you might have like, uh, you might have to forgive someone or learn patience. Like a sense of romance and sexual chemistry at the present moment, too. It's like the purpose is to heal and to learn whether or not you stay together or you move on. You know, you this is like a spiritual lesson and like growth. So do you, baby? Okay, Gemini couples, this has been your love read from the 11th to the 20th. Click like, subscribe, share me, come back and see me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, love and light. I'm Phoenix Rising. Thanks. Bye-bye.